it's time to dip back in to some renovation. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. Now, if you guys remember, last time we did renovation all the way back in June. We did. We tried to do a Fun for Five. It was on the schedule. It was supposed to be that day. I had already made some weird uh, concessions because we didn't do it in, in, in television and it kind of threw off the schedule and I was doing all sorts of other stuff and it felt a little rushed. And I did the renovation collection fun for five Rich's picks episode a little differently than I normally did any of the others. Instead of actually giving you the richest picks, what I actually did was try to predict what my picks would be. So what I thought I would do today is actually revisit that video which is kind of weird to say. I'm going to revisit that video and I'm going to see if my predictions were correct. Did all of my predicted Rich's picks get the full picks as I thought that we're going to? Or did the actual experience of experiencing more of these games uh, change my mind? I just thought it was a little cool thought experiment it's EXP launch week, so of course we're still kind of focused a little bit in on Evercade goodness. Hopefully there will be some really awesome stuff come Thursday, Friday, fingers crossed. Um, so, you know, of course that's what we're doing here. If you guys have some uh, ideas as what do you, what you might want me to do in the meantime as I'm rapidly running out of Fun for Fives. Uh, I think this is the actually the last one I reviewed. I thought I, I missed another one. It was Gremlin or Bitmap or something like that. I actually did. Do full fun for fives for Bitmap, Bitmap and Gremlin. So after this, I am done. There is no more collections for me to fun for five until I get my hands on an EXP so we can do Capcom, which is going to probably be pretty easy because I've played most of those games already. Um, IREM, and then of course Toa Plan. Um, but that won't be for a little bit because those are going to be coming on the limited editions. And if there is to be Evercade EXP in my near future. It will be of the standard edition variety. It will not be of the limited edition variety, but I'll have to wait and see. I'll have to wait and see what's going on. So without any further ado, I'm going to hit this button over here. And then instead of actually like zooming in or doing any kind of transition, I'm actually just going to load the video of me talking. This is going to be very strange of me talking about the renovation collection and uh we're gonna do a little pause action and, and that kind of stuff um and uh yeah it's uh it's gonna be a fun time let me see if i have um oh there we go i even had this i didn't even plan it there it is renovation collection one fun for five let's go let's do it there it is all right here we are in renovation collection so one. weird right all right wait one, I have to stop right right away. I didn't plan. I didn't plan this. I didn't even think about it. Whatever. But I'm totally wearing the exact same shirt. Okay, this is weird. And this would be normally where I'd start going into the titles and selecting them and saying, okay, well, this is going to get a pick or whatever. Um, but because again, some of these experiences have been so, are so meaty. I, I did try to play a little bit of them, um, and I have been playing over the last couple months um here and there in this collection it's just it's one of those that's kind of like pico um where i needed a little more time but i had the advantage that is of true. having pico for almost a year before i started doing these fun for fives um mm -hmm. and awesome. you know i was i was able to you know just play and play and play so not so on the renovation collection as it is fairly new um so let's see let's see i will be playing a lot on, on vacation though so i should be able to to talk to it and i did by the time i came it was out. pretty good um but even more when i got home Marcus odyssey action rpg richest pick prediction i'm probably giving this one a full pick uh, uh we got into our first pick prediction did i give Ar arcus odyssey a full pick you betcha this game is pretty cool i had no idea on the fun that i was going to have with arcus odyssey but um, but Arcus Odyssey is actually a really really fun game. It's it you can go like, it's really cool to explore. The action feels nice. I thought I was maybe gonna like, maybe get into as I was playing, 
maybe a little bit of half pick territory because the way that the <clears throat> isometric thing goes, like it's not really a thing that I, I really enjoy. Um, I'm not super into the isometric play. I like more like the top down traditional kind of Zelda thing. If you're going to do top down, you know, like don't put it on, on the, ang on the angle. I don't know why it's just weird anyway, but Arcus Odyssey did get a full pick. So that's past rich prediction. Correct. But of course it's also an action RPG. So of course, why would I not give it a pick? Um, it seems up my alley. I like top down action RPGs. We actually just talked last week about uh, that on bitmap brothers um all right where so let's see if we can uh, skip around here it was a so pretty cool game next game um this is obviously i think those is gonna land in. i don't know about the show again this guy is game in full, oh, in full here we go i guess the beast wrestler it's already go. got my name on it uh beast wrestler is just simply a wrestling game it's an action game i don't know about this one i i don't think mm. it's gonna get no pick i think i'm gonna slide a half pick on there because there's gonna be some kind of redeeming quality now i've tried incorrect past rich incorrect beast wrestler full pick right away i don't know about this half pick nonsense i don't care i don't care if anyone doesn't like this game or whatever and I, it doesn't matter even I, I think when we were we were saying um things about it in the uh, during the evercast when we were doing the uh the evercast uh you know, going through the collections. I think actually renovation was the one that kind of like ended it for us. As soon as we got done with renovation, we're literally, well, you know what, you know, yeah, we could move on, but you know, why don't we just start talking about topics? It became a topic show all of a sudden. We need to go back to that. I, I, I really do think we need to go back to those and, and do like uh, some talks a little bit, even if it's just like a game or two, we would even do highlights or whatever. I don't know. Um, again, let me know down below what you guys think. Anyway, <clears throat> Beast Wrestler, full pick. And here's why it's so nuts, you know, and yes, it is kind of like, this is the, the B horror movie, right? That's so bad that it's good. If you can follow me on that one, it's, it, it does turn the corner. It's not the, it's not the greatest fighting game of all time by any stretch. It's not the greatest wrestling game um, of it, uh, of any stretch at all. However, this game is so wild, and if you can figure out a way to do some cool exploits, you can actually like progress through the game and and actually play it. It's not like so hard that it's gonna stomp you and you're never gonna get um any further. If it did that, then this would be a no pick. I would have been like, no, Pastor Rich, don't even give it a half pick, it's a no pick, right? Because I hate games that uh, invite you in with a cool graphic or a cool sound or something like that, and then just pummel you as soon as you start playing it. And then you're like, well, I don't even want to play this anymore. Beast Wrestler is not that game. It may be for some, but you got to figure that there is a way, if you can get your distance, there is a way to continuously hit your enemy while not getting hit. You know, like, so you can, you can keep them at bay, do enough damage, and then actually complete matches, which is really cool. So you can actually progress through the game. So anyway, Beast Wrestler, getting a full pick, uh, from me and past rich sorry but that's getting a full bit i've tried to get into this thing i've tried to even love the thing um early on but i just don't know i i think i'm gonna <laughs> wind up settling. yeah he didn't he didn't know but and then anyway. if you want a lot of this all right what do we got next is it dino land next i got my i got my handy dandy guide next to me i might be able to speak to dino land yes dino land is the next one and beast wrestler now dino land i think i already know this one i might be able to speak to because i did play a lot of this i really like this game yeah. i really really like still this like game. it i mean uh you know the prediction is i'm gonna give it a full pick but i might as well just do it now um because this one's probably the game i played the most on the collection so far all right and pass rich is absolutely correct dino land does also get a full pick um it's a it's a great game i mean I know there are better pinball games. I know this one has this wacky thing where, again, this is like an exploit and you can break it and, you know, score ridiculous things and all sorts of crazy stuff. And also it is harder to get like to like the different tables or whatever. And, you know, like I just I like it. I just like it. You know, and it, it, I like the aesthetic. I like the way it feels. Um, and it's a cool game. So is it worth your time? I don't know. Like just be like so. All right, let's go back to Arcus Odyssey real quick. Is Arcus Odyssey worth your time? Yes. Is Beast Wrestler worth your time? Probably not, 
but I'm giving it a pick anyway because it's just me. This is another one of those games. Is Dino Land worth your time? Probably not. There's better pinball games out there on the Evercade already, right? But with Dino Land, you can you can have some fun. So if you want to do the relaxing thing and you just want to play a pinball game, just whatever, sit down and just whatever. Video pinball would be my automatic recommendation, but if you want something pretty to look at, then you know, go ahead and play this. You know, the other ones are like, you know, you're playing pinball, 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 right? Um, but anyway, it's good times. Um, and it'll get a pick for me. This is going to be a high uh, collection, I think. All right, let's see. Um, outside of Valor. All right, let's see what else we, we got here. Uh, regular balls outside of. If the game is the. Uh, there we go. Um, and uh, and there, oh, and there you go. You go to El Viento. Um, El Viento is the uh, first of many uh, platform action adventure kind of games on here. Um, I did play a little bit of this one. Uh, and much like, you know what, I can just lump in uh, El Viento. Um, let's go down here. Uh, Valis uh, and Valis 3. Um uh, these will probably all wind up in just barely missing full pick territory for me. Um, and the reason why is because I like action platforming games. And the, the one thing that gets me annoyed at action platforming games is motion. So if you haven't nailed 100% um, like jumping and the speed and the flow for me personally, for me, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the controls of these games. Um, but just for me, it just doesn't. Something feels different about it. So for all these three games, I think I'm gonna wind up settling in um, in the in the just missing full pick territory. So I'm gonna wind up getting half picks. But again, you never know because there could be something that comes out of nowhere, um, and and you know late, later on in these games, I think oh man, I really love this game because you know I can get over the fact that you know maybe I'll miss a jump here or there, and it's a little frustrating for me because of the way I play. Um, the way I play games, but you know, dot dot dot. The story is really cool. This thing took it. All right, all right, Pass Rich. Um, so we went El Viento, Valis, Valis three. Where are we going to land? Wind up? And the reality is that it is somewhere in between. It is, um, you know, are we in full pick territory for all three of these games? I think we are for El Viento and Valis three. Now, Valis 1 is an awesome game, and I really enjoyed my time with it. However, with Valis 1, I did have a little more of the control thing that I was thinking about while I was in, in past rich mode. Um, I was a little bit more concerned about that, and it did not necessarily tarnish, but it did affect my experience a little bit more than I thought it was going to. So, um, so El Viento and Valis 3 are going to get full picks from me. And Valis One is going to get a half pick, uh, just for that. Just a little knock on the on the uh, on the controls, but otherwise they're all pretty great games um, and pretty cool. Now I think this is one of those things where we might be getting into some surprise territory. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens after we get this. But uh, but like I said, El Viento, Valis Three pick, and Valis One half pick. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Let's see. Um, Exile is straight up an RPG, but is it an RPG that I'm going to get into? I played a little bit of this game, and I know I need to dig in more before I need to make any call. So my prediction is a complete question mark, uh, to be honest. Because, it... All right. Well, I am here, Pastor Rich, to take your question mark and turn it into the first no pick of this cart. Shocker. I know. Like, it's an RPG. Like, it's just like, I should just be, let's go. And I did enjoy my time a little bit, but it's like, there are so many other, well, not so many. There's like six or seven uh, RPGs total. And that includes the, the RPGs that I haven't played yet, like Breath of Fire, on the Evercade. <clears throat> but I just can't do it. I just can't do it with this one. It, it, it's got a cool story. It's got cool graphics. But like the menu system and the battle system and all those weird, it's just so weird and, and out there. I, maybe I need to like give it a chance and go play it again, but I just can't. I just can't do it with this one. 
Um, so to much to my dismay, this is the first no pick of the cart. I just don't, I don't, I can't see any reason to be doing this. Hey, you know what? You need to play Exile. Now, I'll tell you right now, you go and play Arcus Odyssey because it's an awesome game. Like, it's really, really cool. And I think you'd, it'd be worth your time. But Exile, I just can't, it's just not making the cut. I'm not making the cut. So that's the first surprise. So we're going to get into some more surprise territory here. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Um, as we get into uh, all of the, the, uh, the rest of the, the things here uh, in the shooter category. Cause I think, I think I go a little soft on the shooter category category, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Our RPGs are solidly. It'll be. All right, there we go. Final zone. Final zone. This is a shoot 'em up where you're in this giant mech and you're doing all sorts of other crazy things. Um, now that I've have the power of crow, and he can help me out uh, in some stuff that might change my that calculus on, on some of the most of these games that did the shoot 'em up category. Unless, excuse me, the pacing Almost is just, such where I can I'm start yawning, to like he's yawning old man mode my way through the game. Mm. Um, you know, these wind up missing, you know, and get into the half pick territory. But I don't know, I really do like big ro robots, so you never know. You never know. Well, final zone, I don't have to, you never know. And yes, you, you thought it was, I thought I was going to be in half pick territory, but no, final zone, full pick. Full pick. Final zone is awesome, especially when you can old man mode it through the game. You get those cool things, and you know you're getting. I forget which one that was. Extra free lives or this one. You know, the invincibility thing. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what it was. Man, oh man, yeah, good times. It's fun. It, it's awesome. Final zone is awesome. So let's see where I, if I go straight to Gyarus here. So we'll find out. We'll find out. This is uh, Gyarus. The game that when I started playing, I really wanted to be R type, but it's saying it's the kind of not R type, but it is sort of. Um, this game is really cool, and I really like it. But do I like it enough to give it a full pick? Dot dot dot. Find out next time on an exciting episode of Good Times with Retro Rich, right? Well, dot dot dot. That time is right now, and I'm going to tell you full picks all around for Gyarus. Man, this might be the best shoot 'em up I've ever played. As far as games go, you know, let alone us on the renovation collection, this game is awesome. There's so many cool things that you don't see when you first start to play and you got to go further through the game. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, this game is wild. Um, and if you're a shoot 'em up fan at all, you've got to play this game. I just, you got to play it. It just, it's, it is mandatory. Um, just, yeah. Full picks all, all around for Gaiers. Um, and, uh, you know, Pass Rich is probably shocked that I'm saying it was all of these things for all these shoot 'em ups because I'm not the biggest shoot 'em up fan. But man, these renovation shoot 'em ups just turned a corner for me. And I think it's because there are those ways you put in the little buttons or you put in the little codes and you continue to, you know, continue on your adventure and you actually see the cool late stages because, you know, you can actually make it through. Because <laughs> I'm such an old man sometimes. But anyway. Um, Guy Harris getting full pick. Um, I'm not like shoot him up, but this is Granada, which is another like shoot him up, but this is like one of those weird shoot him ups that like changes the way you think of the game. Yes, I like True. when thing when games do that. Yeah, I think this will probably get a solid pick for me. Uh, now, was Pass Rich is also correct. Granada also getting a, a full pick. Now, what where it's not as amazing as Gyarus was as far as like just blowing me away there is a lot of repetition towards the end but it's just again it's like top down angle i'm just m messing around in a tank shooting all this stuff you got the cool missions going on um you know it's a really cool game and of course you can have some help with the little codes right um but uh man it's pretty cool it's it's definitely fun is it so is so Gyarus is like a must play like for sure it's worth your time uh, final zone again worth your time granada it, it's worth your time if you're really into shoot 'em ups but if you're not um then maybe not maybe not it's still getting a full pick for me but like i said you know it's it is different and it is a different type of shoot 'em up game um so don't expect like you know like super awesome tight controlling action it's more of like that weird free floaty thing and normally i don't like that but for whatever reason this game 
hit hit it on uh on the head for me. So Granada's getting a full pick. All right, let's see um, what we got. Just because I think if it's all no, because I have, is also all right. Where do no, we go? I haven't put we went, this game is awesome, but I have played a different version that I think plays slightly differently on the Sega CD because I had this. It doesn't play Sega that. CD, it doesn't play and that. And different. therefore, I want that version more than the version that's on the cartridge. So does it give it a full pick anyway, just for nostalgia's sake, or do I get, do I give this a half pick? I'm not sure. Uh, it's getting the pick. That, that's it. It's just getting the pick because, oh man, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a good game. Now again, Soldies and our type, I'm sure when, when we get the IRM collection, it's going to be awesome for me to, to kind of relive that in the arcade mode. But Gyarus, man, Gyarus is such a bright spot in this that it overshines even like my nostalgia for Soul uh, Soul Feast on the Sega CD. Um, but still, this is a great shoot 'em up. And if you're looking for great shoot 'em ups, Man, this collection has a whole bunch of them, and you should play them. And this is this is one of those ones that is worth your time if you're into the side-scrolling shoot 'em up thing. Very cool, very cool. So, uh, Soul Dees is getting a full pick. And that brings us to Treja. Um, where I let me see if I can find where I start talking about Treja. What do I say? Do I even like say anything again? Because this is another one of those like kick me in the and the took us. Uh, shall we say? And then we get to Treja. Uh, which is yet another RPG um, that I did get to to play around with. Now this one it is a little more up my alley, let's say, as yeah, far as yeah, RPGs yeah, go. Excuse me, than um, than Exile is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, who knows? Does the story take weird turns? Does it get a little boring? Does something else happen? I don't know because I didn't put enough in to get that out of the RPG. And I do want to kind of do these justice and more make sure that we're giving the picks the way they deserve to be. That's true. But it is an RPG, and the play style is kind of in my line of play. So, therefore, I am leaning that this is probably going to get a full pick. But, like I said, only time will tell. Well, time has told, and it tells me that it's not necessarily a full pick. It is, however, a half pick. Uh, because even though it's not a great RPG, it still is one of those full-on give me some goodness RPG stuff. Um, I liked this better than I liked um, Exile. Um, I don't like it better than any of the other RPGs that are out there on the Evercade. So it, it does have that limiting factor for it. But it was a it was a pretty cool game. I never I didn't get to the end. Uh, it is a pretty meaty experience, but I did play a ton of it enough to know that I could give it either a pick or a half pick or a no pick. So, but it, when it made me play enough into it, you know, it, it's one of those games where, okay, I've played enough and I, and I wanted to, I want to finish this. So it, that to me automatically places it in that half pick mode. So there it is. Treja getting the half pick. We already talked about Valus and Valus three. So pass rich. Thanks for, um, you know, it, it's just one of those things. I want to put, like, this side-by-side side here. Here I am here. That's that's me, Past Rich, talking about this collection in the same shirt as I am now. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand how that happened. I don't know. It's one of those things. But, anyway, see you, Past Rich. Thanks. Thanks for your service. Um, but here we are uh, back here in studio with my same shirt talking about this renovation collection. Um we usually go through the titles too and then see uh, which picks, you know, how many picks is it? Is the collection worth your time? Um, one pick for Arcus Odyssey, Beast Wrestler, Dino Land, um, El Viento, Final Zone, Gyaris, Granada, Soul Dece, um, Valis 3. That's more than half of the cart. Cart is automatically a recommendation. I think it's going to be awesome for anyone that's looking for some really cool stuff that you might not have gotten your hands on. And especially in the renovation collection, there are games that are on this list, even though they might not be picks or, or whatever that they cost just so much money to get on your hand, but for 20 something bucks, boom, you get them all here on the cartridge and you slap it in your Evercade and you're playing some good stuff. So there you go. And the reason I don't have my box, like I normally do my like little thing where I'm showing you the box, I, 
I gotta, I gotta admit it to you guys. I don't know where it is. I just don't. I don't know where it is. I, it's, you know, did they put it? Uh, did I put it over here? I don't know. I brought it on vacation. I had it with me. I had it in this room, I think. I just don't know where it is. But I have my cart, which is the more important part. I actually have the games. So, I don't know. Maybe on a sale or something like that. I'll pick up another copy of Renovation so I can get a box. If I can't find it, I don't know. So, anyway. Um, so, that's that. So, what do you guys think of the Renovation Collection Redux, as it were? Um, what, what did you think about the picks? Um, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, also let me know, it, with the style of this video, like me watching some of my older content and commenting on it, um, did you guys like that? Like, was it weird? Was it too weird? I don't know. Just let me know. Um, but also, too, I've been checking some other numbers. Speaking of picks and numbers and all sorts of scores and all sorts of other things, I've been checking on some things. And I, I don't want to jinx myself, but... A lot of really cool people said a lot of really awesome things in the last 24 hours. And it appears that in my channel dashboard, there are now four numbers for the amount of subscribers where there were three numbers previously. And if that is true and holds, like I said, I'm waiting. I'm not going to say a single thing until the Evercast. I'm giving it all the way to Saturday to make sure this thing actually happened. But if it did, thank you. This is the pre-thank you to the real thank you, but also just thank you. If you're here watching this, which means you're a subscriber and you, you love hanging out and you like watching this face flap for you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support of the channel and all the crazy things that we do here. Um, it, trust me, there's some more things coming that are going to be really, really awesome. I'm, I'm, very, ho I'm very hopeful that they're, you guys are going to love it because um, I know that we're going to enjoy making it for you. So, um, again, you know, thank you so much. But also, that wraps up today's episode of Good Times with Retro Rich with this weird kind of go back in time episode, which was really fun. Um, again, I hope you had a lot of fun with me too, but until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich and we will see you later. All right. Take it easy guys. And without any more collection, I got to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know. Got a list or something. We'll see. Take it easy guys. Team RTSC.bacon ice cream.com.